<laughs> Come on, Atlanta. <laughs> Let's talk about this ratchet, ghetto, hood rat, vulgar concert. <laughs> this rally, I mean, a campaign rally. Was it a campaign rally or was it some ratchet ass concert going on? Because Kamala Harris just teamed up with Megan the Stallion and went down to Atlanta to pander. <laughs> And it didn't go so well. She's receiving some reviews for getting a larger crowd than usual. We're gonna get into that in a second. But a lot of people are completely disgusted by what they saw. We got a 60 year old, 59, 60 year old lady having a ratchet ghetto concert with a bunch of women shaking their ass. We're talking about a woman running for president. <laughs> and the people are saying, oh, we're gonna talk about policy. Nah, nah, we're just gonna drop it like it's hot. <laughs> so, I think black people should be insulted because you go down there to one of the biggest black cities, well-known black cities, Atlanta, and instead of giving these people a quality, sound, policy-based, how are we going to build businesses in your cities, how are we going to get all of these hooligans off the street, how are we going to increase education in the black community, how are we going to build up Atlanta, help you grow your business throughout the state of Georgia and beyond. No, 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 let's not talk about that. Let's pay a big time artist to come shake her ass in front of you and your children. <laughs> Running for president. <laughs> let's take a more extended look at what the hell was going on at this rally. The reason why she even got this crowd, she got about 7,500, 8,000 people. Some people are trying to say it was up to 10,000, but I'm not sure if the venue can even hold that many. But she had the largest audience she's had since she's been installed as the Democrat nominee because she paid for the audience. Meg Thee Stallion is one of the most popular rap artists in the world. In fact, her tickets are selling like hotcakes. Everywhere she goes, it seems to be sold out. Let's look at these right here. So she's extremely popular. So the Harris campaign said, okay, let's send some of this donor money, this billionaire donor money that we receive. Let's give it to Meg Thee Stallion and have her host a concert in Atlanta and people are going to show up because if Kamala goes by herself, <laughs> nobody's going to show up. In fact, let's look at some examples of these tiny audiences. She went to one venue and had 68 people. <laughs> It was pathetic, man. Just listen to the people chant. You can just tell there was hardly anyone there. <laughs> she had another one with Shapiro. Josh Shapiro, he's hyped up. Just pick Josh Shapiro as the VP and you're going to lock it. You're going to win Pennsylvania and you're going to lock up the whole election if you pick Josh Shapiro. So Harris and Shapiro had a rally. 300 people. Nobody's interested in these people. Nobody's interested in these clowns. So having over 7,000 people is a really big deal. Now, Trump can get 7,000 in his sleep. I mean, he's getting 20, 30,000. Over 100,000 if he wants to easily. She had a massive crowd of 2,000 people. It was, it was under 1,000. But this, they never talk about this. They don't, take a look at that. That's great camera work. It must, I know it's not a news camera because they don't do that. Even the ones that are on our side, they don't show the crowd size. I love crowd size. We've always had the biggest crowds. In history, there's never been anything like this. No, you had to see, we drove from the airport to here and practically the whole way, there were just thousands and thousands of people. It's but having 7,500 people, big deal for Kamala Harris and people trying to brag about it. But 
They weren't there to see her. They were there to see Meg Thee Stallion. They were there for a ratchet rap concert. They didn't have any interest in hearing her cackling laugh, hearing her talk about, oh, Trump's a predator, he's mean. With her terrible record, they, they didn't want to hear any of that. In fact, after the concert ended, Harris came out there to give a short speech, very short, 20-minute speech. The concert was longer than the damn speech because Harris knows that she's going to put people to sleep and that nobody's interested in what the hell she has to say. And she only has so long before the audience completely revolts or the stadium is empty. So she, as soon as she came out there and started yapping about absolutely nothing, <laughs> people started leaving in droves. And on top of all of that pandering, bringing a ratchet rapper to Atlanta to try to win over black votes instead of talking about helping the black community, helping with black education, helping with black business, helping black men earn more income. And no, 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 no. Let's bring in a ratchet rapper. So on top of that, this woman had the audacity to try to use a southern accent. A woman who grew up in Canada, <laughs> who's not even from the United States at all, has no ties to the United States at all, grew up in Canada, went to school in Canada. Yes, yeah, she lied about being bust in California, complete lie. Is trying to use a southern accent. <laughs> she tried to copy Hillary Clinton, which it didn't work when Hillary did it either, <laughs> and tried to pander and appease the people in the Deep South by trying to talk like them. It was extremely insulting, but more than insulting, it's funny as hell. Someone from the South, I'm just looking at this like, wow, <laughs> pathetic. But let's take a look at Kamala Harris. And I also want to show you AOC, <laughs> because remember, she tried to do it too. So we're going to look at all three, Hillary Clinton, AOC, and Kamala Harris. And I want you guys to let me know who did it better. <laughs> None of them did it good at all, actually. Just let me know whose was the most pathetic. And you all helped us win in 2020, and we're going to do it again in 2024. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. So let's get right down. <laughs> This is what organizing looks like. Right. This is what building power looks like. This is what changing the country looks like. You know, I, Reverend, you bring up a, a funny anecdote and I'm proud to be a bartender. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with working retail, folding clothes for other people to buy. There is nothing wrong with preparing the food that your neighbors will eat. There is nothing wrong with driving the buses that take your... I don't feel no ways tired. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be easy. I don't believe he brought me this far. I said to the congressman, I didn't know he could preach like that. <laughs> you know, I was recently with a bunch of um, faith leaders and I said, you know, <laughs> I'm good. I, I said to the, the preachers who were there, you know, during announcements on Sunday at church, could you could you perhaps ask people to stand up <laughs> and say who got their student loan um, forgiven because so many have. This woman, Kamala Harris, is such a phony, lying about her race, lying about where she grew up sitting here trying to act like she liked rap. Remember that she held that party and was trying to dance some old ass lady, some grandma over here trying to dance to rap. She doesn't even like rap, <laughs> but she's lying about what she likes. Remember she lied about weed. This woman is a snake. She's a chameleon. She will shift to anything that she needs to shift to, whether it's some skirt lifter like <laughs> Judge or Brown said. We're going to get to that in another video. Or whether it's some fake-ass black woman like Rachel Dolezal, which is what Kamala Harris is. <laughs> she will do anything that she needs to do to try to get power, to try to get elected. She will sell her box. She'll sell out her own race, her Indian heritage, and lie about who she is. 
she'll sell out her morals and values, calling Joe Biden a racist, then the next thing you know, she wants to be his VP. She's a complete chameleon with nothing to offer. <laughs> Not even that old used up box that Montel Williams and Willie Brown ran through. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about this. Leave me your thoughts below, share the video. Thanks for watching.